Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed, and we're very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right, and may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Um, they suggested I react to Islam becomes the fastest growing religion in Japan. I think it's almost almost everywhere in the world. But otherwise, this is what we're reacting to. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, drop the link in the comment section below. We'll be more than glad to react to it. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0 and feel free to follow us on Facebook uh funny and jesse instagram funny and jesse as well and feel free to interact with us so without wasting time let's get into the video before unfolding today's topic about the rise of islam in japan we want to take a minute to put forward the freshest statistics about islam the growth of islam and its standing as compared to other major religions of the world the population of the Muslims in the world has been increasing exponentially since the past decade. In 2013, the world population of Muslims stood at 1. billion. The number is expected to be as large as 2.9 billion by the end of 2050. That will approximately be 26% of the expected world's population. 21st century studies have suggested that in terms of worldwide spread and percentage, Islam is the fastest growing major religion in the world. According to the Pew Research Center, if the current trend continues, Islam will surpass Christianity as the world's largest religion in the second half of the century. Muslims are living in more than 200 countries in the world, about 50 countries where the majority of population is Muslim. This leads to an extremely strong global presence of the Muslims throughout the world. Mapping the same trends onto Japan that is in fact a Muslim minority country, we get somewhat similar statistics. And that's what we'll be discussing today, the growth of Islam in Japan. The two main faiths in Japan are Shintoism and Buddhism. Christianity comes third, but is still considered a minority religion with 1.5 percentage of the total population living in the country, followed by Islam and then the rest of religions. When it comes to Islam, Japan never actually had any jam-packed presence or communities of Muslims to begin with. In fact, most of the Muslims in Japan were foreign-born migrants primarily from Bangladesh, Pakistan, Iran and Indonesia. However, in the recent years, especially in the last two decades, the rate of Muslim conversions in Japan has been gradually increasing. Officially, there have been no reports or surveys as to whether the number of conversion rate of Muslims in Japan is increasing. However, the gathered statistics do speak otherwise. Let's dig in. The origin of Islam in Japan takes us back to the 14th century, when Japan was contacted by Islam via merchants from Arab countries and China. However, it was after 1870s that Muslims actively became a part of Japan, particularly after a biography of the Holy Prophet was converted into Japanese. This paved the way for the Japanese to accept Islam and the rest is history. After this, many Muslim refugees from Central Asia and Russia came to Japan during the wake of October Revolution around 19th. Japan also has a significant number of Muslim residents that came from Pakistan and Bangladesh. This happened particularly after the 1980s when the Japanese government introduced visa waiver programs. Before the 19th century, there only were isolated occasions of Muslims in Japan. According to one of the chief sponsors of the Tokyo Mosque back in 1941, there were only 600 Muslims in Japan and only two to three of them were native Japanese Muslims. In addition to this, some sources have also stated the number of Muslims to be around 30,000 in the year 1982, with 15,000 of them being native. During the economic boom of 1980s, it is said that many Japanese women married immigrant Muslim men, increasing the number of Muslims. The others were intellectuals and some university professors who converted to Islam. Since the beginning of 90s, there have been an increasing number of mosques being built as well, particularly across the Japanese archipelago. According to multiple scatter reports throughout the last two decades, back in 1970, there were only two mosques in Japan. 
In 2001, the number increased to 24. In 2017, the number was 90. And currently, there are 115 mosques in the country. A direct evidence of exponentially greater growth of Islam in Japan. Similarly, many more Muslim communities have plans to build mosques in the near future. The first mosque in Japan, the Kope Mosque, was built in 1935. Currently, the Tokyo Chami stands as the largest mosque in Japan, featuring unique Turkish architecture. Most of the mosques in Japan tend to organize initiatives, movements, and mosque tours that are aimed to promote the understanding of Islam among the non-Muslim residents of the country. The true size and division of the current population of Muslims in Japan remains a matter of speculation. Japanese scholars such as Hiroshi Kojima of the National Institute of Population and Social Security Research and Keiko Sekarai of Waseta University suggest 85 to 90 percent of the total Muslim population to be immigrant Muslims and 10 to 15 percent as a native Japanese Muslims. The Muslims currently living in Japan come from diverse backgrounds including their lifestyle, culture, nationality and ethnicity and etc. Back in 2010, there were only 110,000 Muslims living in Japan. Fast forward to 2019, the number of Muslims in Japan were 230,000. Currently, the number is expected to be as high as 250,000. Although there are exceptions, but most of the Muslims in Japan are living in three major metropolitan areas. The Greater Tokyo Area, Tokyo Metropolitan Area, and Kinki Region. Overall, the Muslim network has never ceased to expand throughout Japan. There currently are 60 to 65 Muslim communities in Japan, 40 of them being non-Japanese. Japan has also seen an increase in Muslim tourists yearly. As more Muslim communities have developed, access to halal food is now also possible at major airports and few leading hotels. According to a recent Japanese revert to Islam, I once looked at Islam as if it was a religion of violence. This was until I experienced the hospitality and warmth of Sudani Muslims on an overseas trip back in 1967. My views about Islam changed on that trip. In addition to this, many more Japanese reverts have shared similar stories of embracing Islam. According to all these aforementioned statistics, it is evident that the number of Muslims has risen and continues to rise in Japan. The spread of Islam experienced a rise particularly when the biography of the Holy Prophet was translated into Japanese. The presence of Muslims increased, communities were established and a process was set. There is a lack of official reports but there is also no neglecting the present figures. The increase in the number of mosques from 1970 to 2021 from two mosques to 114 mosques is an evident in itself. We pray that the Islamic community continues to flourish in Japan as well as in the rest of the world. May Allah make things easier for every single human being in this world. Amen. I uh, love the video. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't think it's just Japan that's experiencing this increase in Islamic not Islamic, uh, people that are converting or immigrants, I think it's quite everywhere in the world and the numbers are just going to continue to increase. First of all, when people think of Islam or Muslims, they're thinking of the things that we see on TV through the Western eye or Western point of view. So once they experience uh, this themselves, once they come across people, once they come uh, across the books, the videos, audios, you name it, they change their mind uh, concerning Islam itself and it pushes people or Islam draws them through these different experiences. I always say people come to Islam through different ways, means and everything else. So everyone will have a different experience and the converting strains will be very different as well. I'm actually shocked that more than 70% of uh, people that practice Islam in Japan are um, immigrants. But that's actually just an interesting fact on my part. Let me know what you guys actually think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.